Hello and welcome to this tutorial on materials in V-Ray for Maya, where we will be covering the essential steps when applying materials to your scene. Be sure to check out other videos in this series for an introduction to V-Ray for Maya and to learn about its lighting workflow. Before we start, let's run an interactive rendering in the viewport. We can use the hypershade, but for an even quicker workflow, we can select the object and click on the material icon on the toolbar. It's easy to modify the material by setting its diffuse color, the amount of reflection, glossiness, and much more. Of course, when you are working with more complex shaders, it's easier to visualize them in the hypershade. A great source for materials is Chaos Cosmos, which has an extensive library of categories and various shaders. To use them, just click the download icon and then drag and drop into the viewport. Cosmos materials are ready to use. However, you can customize them to better fit your scene. Just like any other material, in a few easy steps, you can edit them and change their appearance. If there are objects in the scene without proper UV, simply import materials from Chaos Cosmos with an enabled triplanar mapping. This will place the texture on the X, Y, and Z axis. You can always go back and adjust the look, scale, or alignment of the material. Now that we know the basics, we can shade almost anything in a quick and easy way. If you haven't already watched them, you can check out our other videos on getting started with V-Ray for Maya and how to use it to light your scene. <laughs> 